Hello students, welcome to this video. Students, in this video I will discuss about active and passive voice. I have also uh, previously I have uploaded a video uh, based on the same but in that video I have discussed about the basic, very basic things about active and passive voice. Students, this video, in this video I am going to discuss more about active and passive voice because I told you in the former video that I'll be making more videos on this active and passive voice and this, vid this video will be very important for both the students of class 9 as well as class 10. Students, in the previous video I have discussed about the various structures of passive voice based on the different tense forms. I hope you have gone through the structures, you have learned them and you won't face any problem in identifying the tense of the sentence and applying the particular structure. Students, today I will be talking about the different types of sentences such as how to change the voice of affirmative sentence, how to change the voice of negative sentence, how to change the voice of interrogative sentence, affirmative interrogative and negative interrogative sentences because sometimes what happens if it is just affirmative sentence students can easily change it but when it's a negative sentence or when it uh, becomes an interrogative sentence they face problems so today I'm going to begin this discussion with the different types of sentences first of all I'll talk about um, affirmative sentence randomly I'll pick out the sentences based on any tense forms and I'll be uh, discussing that for example, let me start with the present form, the present indefinite. Present indefinite, let me start with affirmative sentence. If the sentence is, uh, suppose we teach you, okay, we teach you, it is an affirmative sentence, so easily you can apply the rule for the change of um, present indefinite tense to passive voice. Do you remember what is it? Subject plus am is r plus third form of the verb plus by plus object. So here the object is you. So when we write it in the act passive form this is an active and now we have to write the passive form. So you with you we always use r. So you are taught by we changes to us you are taught by us now if it is a negative sentence if it is a if there is a negative sentence how will you change that very important you need to remember it if it is a negative sentence like uh, if the sentence is we do not teach you we do not teach you now it's a negative sentence now what do you need to do here when you change the negative sentence this do will be replaced okay you will not repeat it in the passive voice it will be replaced and how to replace that? It will be replaced by be verbs. Am, is, are, was, where, like that. So when you change it, you, you, so with you, you cannot use am or is, you have to use are, then not taught by us. You are not taught by us. See, now we have changed it to passive voice. What we have done? We have removed this do and we have added are, an auxiliary verb. Or based on the subject, we can use am or is as well. Now, this, is, this was about negative sentence. Now, let us move to interrogative sentences. If it is a question sentence, uh, suppose there is a sentence... question the sentence is do 
we teach you question mark it is interrogative sentence do we teach you now <clears throat> In place of do, I told you we have to replace in negative sentences. Here in interrogative sentence also we have to do the same. We have to replace it by be verbs. So, are, we is the subject, uh, you is the, going to be the subject there. So, are, you, teach will become taught by us. Are you taught by us? Like that you can change an interrogative sentence. Uh, now, let us come to the sentences with question words, where WH question words are used. Now, the sentence is, where do you see him? Where do you see him? There is a question word. So in such situations, what do you need to do? You will begin it with the question word. Where? Okay, where? Then? Him. will change to he. So where is he? Where is he? See. will change to seen. Where is he seen? By you. We, here also you see we didn't repeat do where is he seen by you and another example I'll give you with who when who is used whenever we use who you see who did sorry, who uh, tells you that who tells you that and here is a sentence begins with who so whenever you see who in such sentences by comes at the beginning it becomes by whom you is there so are you told by whom are you told that question mark so these were some examples about interrogative sentences, affirmative interrogative. Now let us discuss some sentences with where the question is interrogative sentences, sentences in negative. Now the sentence, do I not read a book? do i not read a book now if you change it same thing do will be replaced is a book not read by me another sentence who does not tell you that tell you that so who changes to whom by comes at the beginning by whom are you not told that like that you can change by whom are you not told that where to put not, you remember very nicely, that will be just before the main verb, okay? You not, before the third form of the verb, not will be used. And do does gets replaced. Who changes to whom, the other question words remain the same, but the question word comes at the beginning. So you need to remember the structure, you need to know where you have to put not. That is very important. The same rule goes on for other tense as well. Now let us discuss some more examples from the past tense. We have discussed some from present. Similarly, based on the structures, no, the, it changes the 
structure will change. I'll move to the past tense, some example from the past tense. For example, uh, he ate bread. Affirmative sentence in past indefinite form. So, we'll write bread. You know the structure was over here will be used. So, bread was ate. Third form is eaten by. He changes to him. Bread was eaten by him. Let me write a negative sentence. He did not eat bread here you see one thing he, he did not eat bread so in the present form what we did we discuss about do and does and here we discuss about did so we will not repeat did we will replace it by using the be words so bread when you change it it will become bread was not eaten by him. So, did got replaced by was not eaten by him. So, you can change like that. Suppose uh, it can be in any form. Huh? It can be in any uh, form, continuous form or perfect form. If it is in continuous, say like I was reading a book. I was reading a book. A book was being read by me. I was not reading a book. A book was not being read by me. You have to place not just before being. A book was not being read by me. Then if it is a perfect form, say I had read a book. A book had been read by me. I had not read a book. A book had not been read by me. Before been, you have to put not. Now let us come to uh, interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences in past form. Suppose here, did I eat bread? Interrogative form, did. Again, did will be replaced by what? Auxiliary verb, I'm sorry, be verbs. So I'll write here was bread eaten I'm sorry, bread eaten by me. No, this is this will be changed like that. Was did will be replaced by was was bread eaten by me. Now if there is a sentence like a uh, What did I not do? What did I not do? So question sentence, question word first. What was not done by me? Here you see what remains, what did gets replaced was not is there not done by me. So this is how you will make the arrangement then same thing with the past continuous I told you but in the past continuous form also same arrangement if it is was I reading a book was I reading a book was a book being read by me was I not reading a book was a book not being read by me change it like that then let me move to the future tense with some examples. Future tense. In the future tense, suppose affirmative sentence is very easy. I shall read a book. Read a book. A book will be read by me. Okay, simple. Apply the rules, you get the answer. A book will be read 
by me. Now, if it is negative sentence, I shall not read a book. So when you change it, what will you write? A book shall not, I'm sorry, will not, a book will not be read by me. See, a book will not be read by me. Will not and then be. Then the third form of the verb. Will or shall plus not plus be plus third form. Like that you have to make the arrangement. I can give another example like we shall teach you. We shall teach you. When you change it, it will be you will be taught by us. You will be taught by us. We shall not teach you. You will not be taught by us. Like that you have to change. Now moving to interrogative sentences. In the interrogative sentence suppose shall I read a book if the sentence is shall I read a book when you change it it will become will a book be read by me if it is negative shall I not read a book will a book not be read by me will a book not be read by me like that you can change where will he where will he not deposit the money where will he there is a sentence where will he not deposit the money when you change it to passive it will become where will the money not be deposited by him if it is where will the money where will he deposit the money where will the money be deposited by him and if it is where will he not deposit the money where will the money not be deposited by him that is the structure okay you have to remember the structure don't make a mistake for example will a book uh, will a book be not read by me that is a wrong sentence the correct is will a book not be read by me likewise in the perfect form i shall give you some example he will i shall have read a book a book will have been read by me and if it is negative I shall not have read a book when you change it a book will not have been read by me like that you have to change a book will not have been read by me interrogative sentence shall I have read a book will a book have been read by me shall I not have read a book huh? Shall I not have read a book? Will a book have not been read by me? That is the proper structure. Okay. Will a book have not been read by me? That is going to be the structure. What shall I not have done? What shall I not have done? Negative interrogative. What will have not been done my, by me? What will have not been done by me the structure goes on like that students today in today's video i'll discuss only this much the different forms i have discussed about interrogative about negative sentences about negative interrogative sentences of various tense forms so i hope it has benefited you watch the complete video and i'll be making more videos for the rest of the part of active and passive voice long way to go i want you to learn step by step so in this video i'll stop here thank you for watching